LSE is dedicated to training students whose future careers will affect the lives of billions of people across the planet. Rachel Alice Lake. LSE is one of the world's most renowned and respected universities. Congratulations. Well done. LSE degrees open important doors. The LSE is just global. There is no other university that has the mix of students we have or the ability to connect all around the world. They're choosing a very distinctive education that will enable them to be global citizens, enable them to be successful in their careers, and give them a network that feels special. LSE students will grab opportunities with, with both hands and run with them, and that's one of the things that employers really like. The LSE trains people to, to make the most of every opportunity they can get. People have been coming here for decades and then returning to their home countries and in many cases becoming heads of government. Being thrown into this melting pot of cultures, ideas, concepts, it's something that stayed with me for the whole of my life. LSE has a long tradition of academic excellence and an unrivaled reputation for cutting-edge research that continues to influence international policy at the highest levels. You can't really spend more than a day at the LSE without feeling that LSE is engaged and LSE is relevant. LSE teaching is amongst the best in the world. There's a lot of people at the school who are really very enthusiastic about teaching, really interested in exploring new ways to communicate more effectively, interested in thinking about what's really important about how students learn, how we can connect with that to make sure they get the most out of a particular course and the most out of their degree. LSE academics are world leaders in their fields. We have this combination of people who are at the frontier in terms of research and really very excited about new ideas that are emerging. So there's a kind of vibrancy in the teaching, I think, which is very different from the teaching that comes out of a textbook. Researchers that are attracted to the facilities at LSE and the facilities of London come to teach here because this is the place they want to carry on their research and also they want to engage with the brightest and the best. You come to LSE to learn and you will learn better from people who are involved in research and enthusiastic and committed to their subjects. You're going to be uh, taught by people who are at the cutting edge of their academic discipline. We don't just teach the students to become either copy of the textbooks or, or um, a copy of, of your lecture, the individual that teaches you. We teach the students to become independent thinkers and that's very, very important. We're training leaders who Instead of just sort of adopting the latest technique, they'll actually be able to critically assess those techniques for themselves and follow in the LSE tradition of being intellectual leaders. Part of the vision, the founding vision of the school was very much that the school would be engaged in policy issues and make a difference. And I think we attract a lot of students who want to make a difference. And make a difference, they certainly do. Many of today's LSE students will become the leaders and thinkers of tomorrow. LSE prides itself on helping its students to find the very best jobs. The labour market is so fluid these days that what employers want is people who are able to learn and can demonstrate that they're able to learn. And what we can help with is help them translate what they've learnt as part of their academic studies into uh, language and information that the labour market will find attractive. LSE students have much better kind of interpersonal skills, they're able to get on with people from right across the globe, so that's attractive to employers. And the words that they use most often when they talk about our students are ambitious, bright, articulate, asset to the business. Being at the centre of the global economy makes LSE particularly important to major employers. I was an intern during the spring term at the US Embassy in London. I was in the office of the ambassador. I ended up landing an internship at HSBC in Canary Wharf. The reason I got my internship is because of the LSC. Like, having the LSC on my CV was a huge, huge plus. LSE is situated right in the heart of London, midway between the UK seat of government and one of the world's most important financial centres. People are passing through London every day of the week. Um, when the G20 met in London, the president of Indonesia dropped by and gave a speech at the LSE because he was here in London. So the advantage of the LSE's position 
in one of the world's major capitals um, and major centers for business and finance is enormous. LSE students are exposed to some of the world's most important leaders and thinkers on an almost daily basis. Thanks to all for coming. The school's motto is to know the causes of things and to know the causes of things then they have to be explained, debated, discussed. We organise the highest profile public lectures, whether it's um, prime ministers, presidents, foreign ministers, finance ministers. We're up to something in the region of uh, probably towards 80 or 90 a term. The LSE is in some ways better than any place um, in the world because in New York, although there are some great universities there, they're not the greatest universities. If you give a speech at Oxford or Cambridge or for that matter Princeton, uh, you're not in the middle of things. Here you're right at the core of, of a lot of activity, overlapping policy, business, academics. I've been to so many talks this year with Soros and a lot of really high profile people and it's amazing to have access to ask them questions. We had George Soros, Ben Bernanke, president of, of Poland, which took over after the, uh, the plane crash. Ed Miliband, David Cameron, Amartya Sen. There's a lot of people that come here to speak that really, really have interesting perspectives and interesting things to say that you wouldn't really get to, get to hear them say anywhere else. What attracts these amazing people is the fact that many of them actually were past students. LSE students find themselves in one of the most multicultural environments in the world. With a student body made up from more than 140 nationalities, LSE embraces almost as many countries as are represented at the United Nations. In my program alone, there are 50 students of which maybe 30 different nationalities are represented. And imagine how many uh, different languages there are, all these different values and cultural experiences. All of them are very bright students and it's very interesting to, to learn from makes all of the classes really interesting. The discussions are just so fascinating and I'm learning from them as well as them learning from me. You become a civilian of the world and this is the amazing part of Hellasy. Living in central London means being at the heart of one of the most vibrant cities in the world. Hellasy has halls of residence across the city. High Hoban is just five minutes' walk from campus. The proximity to the LSE, as well as to places like Oxford Street, Tottenham Court Road, like a fantastic place to live, especially for someone that you know has never lived in London before. I mean, like, I've loved my room. Each flat has about four or five um, rooms in it, and you each share another bathroom, a shower room, and a kitchen. All of the rooms come equipped with broadband internet access, and there's a common room where students can relax and get away from work. On the other side of the River Thames is Bankside House. Its location is great. I always ha uh, have a really nice walk to school. I'm especially happy with my room because I've got a lot of space and whenever I want to socialize with my friends, I can arrange something very quickly. It's a very social hall, a lot of events that they put on. And it's a great walk to campus every day. You walk across Millennium Bridge, walk along the embankment or down Fleet Street. You know, pretty much walking across the river every day and that was, that was really nice. And to cap it all, if you need financial support, LSE is there to help. We give out at least 12 million pounds per year to students in grants and scholarships and these are non-repayable. For advice on applying to LSE, watch the guidance video that's appropriate for your entry level. You too could soon be joining the thousands of world leaders, Nobel Prize winners and captains of finance, commerce, industry and charities who are proud to have begun their careers at LSE. It makes me proud to teach at the LSE. It, it, it makes me proud to see all the students doing well with their life and trying to change the lives of other people. And that's very important. And that's why I'm passionate about it. You take with yourself what you have learned at the LSE and what experiences you have benefited at the LSE. This will follow you in life for good. Mm -hmm.